Welcome to Wrestling News Update. I'm David Two Dogs Hayes. And I'm David Hensley, filling in for Chris Barnes for our first post-show update. Our top story, Brock Lesnar cashed in his Money in the Bank contract to defeat Seth Rollins last weekend at Extreme Rules. Authorities have already started printing missing posters as no one expects to see Lesnar on Raw for the next three to four weeks. Rollins' defeat came after Baron Corbin attacked Becky Lynch with his finisher, End of Days. It's the hardest shot Lynch has taken since Vince made her stop drinking backstage. Lacey Evans entered the ring with Seth Rollins' name stitched on the back of her shorts, emphasized by an extreme close-up. It's been called the most gratuitous close-up of an ass since the last time audiences saw Sami Zayn. Extreme Rules opened with The Undertaker and Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre and the best in the world, Shane McMahon. The Undertaker and Reigns took home the victory, while Drew McIntyre took home a movie from Redbox and some Chinese takeout he took from Shane McMahon's refrigerator. Experts say Reigns performed well with The Undertaker, but he has had practice considering the last time he partnered up with a dead man, it was to steal pudding cups from the hospital cafeteria. After the match, The Undertaker and McMahon reconciled their differences by telling Reigns and McIntyre to get off their lawn. The Kool-Aid man among men, Braun Strowman, faced off against Bobby Eyebrows sold separately Lashley. Strowman went over after body slamming Lashley through the floor, which is an impressive feat after 17 minutes of the world's worst game of greased up ball guy. Fans retreated to yet another match featuring Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. In a hard fought battle, Bailey overcame two of the toughest competitors in the women's division and retained the title that made her the first women's Grand Slam champion. Meanwhile, Sasha Banks got a lip tattoo. In the aftermath of Extreme Rules, Kevin Owens has emerged as the anti-authority figure standing up against Shane McMahon like some kind of Canadian Stone Cold Steve Austin. This storyline will continue into next month's pay-per-view, SummerSlam, with Owens chugging moose loggers between matches, driving a maple syrup truck to the ring, and dispensing a viciously polite thumbs up to anyone who dares get in his way. In other news, Jeff Hardy was arrested in Myrtle Beach for public intoxication. Residents of the Carolinas knew what happened as soon as I said Myrtle Beach. The judge considered incarcerating Hardy as a possible danger to himself, but wrestling fans scoffed at the idea that being locked in a steel cage could possibly make Hardy less of a danger to himself. Authorities say Hardy surrendered without incident, meaning he put up as much of a fight outside the ring as he does inside of it. July 22nd's episode of Raw will serve as a reunion, featuring appearances by Steve Austin, Scott Hall, Sergeant Slaughter, and, according to some rumors, Hulk Hogan's original hair. Longtime commentator Jim Ross, who now works with AEW, was invited to attend the reunion show by Vince McMahon, but somehow found his courage to turn down the man whose ass he literally one time had to kiss. Paul Heyman has said that in his new creative position, he wants to make the backstage dialogue more believable and the in-ring injuries to be taken seriously. Sources close to us have said that this has absolutely nothing to do with the AEW doing the exact same thing. The WWE announced a streaming special in Nashville, Tennessee called Smackville that will go on July 27th. Alternate titles include Black and Bluegrass, Coupe de Graceland, Vince McMahon doesn't understand puns, Slap a Nuga, Memphis to the face. Hey, Kane, we're not touching you. And kick the crap a latching out of you. For Wrestling News Update, I'm David Hensley. And I'm David Two Dogs Hayes. Make sure to check out the Extreme Rules episode of This Is a Work. I need you to be more like Barnes. Barnes.